Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Another amazing channeling from the annual Sedona Gathering. A chat with Zenzuria, future inhabitant of the Cities of Light, including questions and answers. A must read. Greetings. I am Zenzuria, Wingmaker an inhabitant of several cities of light and I am messenger and ambassador to you and to your time like my earlier incarnation. I am a messenger and channel. Many of you have asked, so what are these cities of light, these crystal cities of the future, these places of peace and harmony where love prevails? That is why they are called cities of light for you could make this interchangeable and you could call them cities of love for it is where we all walk freely. How we have come to exist and the reason why, is important for each one of you to understand. The reason why we exist is that you are making that choice right now and you have been for several decades. You have chosen to go on and to anchor new realities and new dimensional realities within the third dimension so the third can be an expanded experience. We are you and we are your future self. So when you continue, we continue, and when you give up, our light fades. We have not witnessed any of you giving up, quite the contrary. You are truly the visionaries. You don't simply look to leave a brighter planet for your family, or for your children, or for generations to come. You are laying the foundation for thousands and millions of years. You think of yourselves as small, for these bodies truly are quite tiny. But the energy and the promise and what you are anchoring not only in your heart but in your communities and in the earth, is laying the foundation for us. Is that vitally important? Yes. Because it is the unfoldment of a very large universal plan. It is going beyond the universe to the multiverse and coming back to the omniverse. And that is where you are now. The collective is receiving the energy. And it is not only in the cities of light that we are anchoring with, but each and every one of you. It is the beacons that are going out and saying there is hope here, there is healing here, strangers are welcome here. Terragaya was always meant to be an interdimensional portal of love where beings from everywhere could come and have this experience of what it felt like, in all kinds of forms, to live in a community of love. There is nothing more important. And I do not say that because our existence depends on it, I also say it because it is part of your feeling and knowing of your contract and your purpose. When you anchor your Lemurian and your Atlantean and your future wingmaker self, when you welcome us into your being, anything is possible. You know, there are some of you here that are very interested in building and you would be interested to know that our cities of light follow the old pattern of Lemuria and they are constructed by thought, ideas, the collection of molecules into form. Our star brothers and sisters are with us. And you need to know they are also with you. And it is time for this illusion of hidden energies to be destroyed and for fear to be eliminated. For these are the beings that come in peace to assist. These are the ones that have wandered the universe looking for the place of peace, for the home of love. Even in the chaos and drama, you would not believe how brightly you shine and how brightly this planet shines. And it is because of hope, for even those who are sitting in the darkness thinking they are forgotten still have that ember of hope. That is pretty much the only reason they are alive. To us this is phenomenal. If you were to look back at the history and the evolution of your collective and you would say oh this is where it changed, this is where the shift occurred. It would be right now. You are ahead of schedule, my friends. And you are ahead of schedule because you have held and embraced the dream, the hope, the faith, the trust. These are the interdimensional qualities that are essential. This is the understanding that brings collectives out of what we see as dark ages into the light. We come closer because you beckon us but we also come closer because we are anxious to do so. The grid and the blending is moving very rapidly now. It is not 800 years away, it is more like 80. So you might want to stick around. There is no need, you know, to believe those old grids and embrace the destruction of death and disease. That is not our way. You say to me, 
Zanzuria what do I do to assist with this anchoring of the cities of light? And I suggest to you that you are doing it but I also ask you hold it, hold it in your heart, hold it in your grid, hold it in your vision and beckon us because like your star brothers and sisters we don't come uninvited. We come because you are waving us in, you are welcoming us and we have been waiting. What do you want to know about us? What can I share with you this day? Will we survive? You will more than survive, you will thrive. Do not forget Gaia hosts us all. It is true there is some rather dramatic house cleaning going on, but, you will survive. And if you feel that your flame is running low you have complete access to us, as you do to all. But in our humble way, you may call on us. We will send you help, for many of the answers you seek are already in place. The wrinkles have been sorted out. May I ask you, my sister, it is a very real and legitimate question that you have posed, will I or will we survive? But I would like to ask you to say, I will survive and I will thrive and I will be there. Do you have an ethereal form or are you more solid than that? We are far more solid than that. As solid as we are now or not quite. No, we are as dense, laughter, and I do not mean that yes you do your picking on me because I'm here oh, but you are also with us. You are known as Zingila. As what? Zingila. Um, okay. So, our bodies have form and function but they are the crystalline forms that you are now in the process of changing into. And so think of it as having been honed for several thousands of years. So it is a lighter sensation but it is most definitely form and it is form insofar as not only do we have what you think of as physicality form but also reproductive form. I knew they weren't going to let go of that one. It is not the same as what you currently do. Although if one wishes to have, to revisit an ancient form, that is fine, that is certainly allowed. But it is more community based rather than singular family. Thank you. The children belong to everyone. Oh, we are doing the Lemurian thing. Yes. It is a full circle. And do the children have stories of our time? Yes, they do. They have been passed down in many different forms, written and oral, electronic. We have what we call story cubes. And is there more we can do now to help ensure that you get here? You are at the crossroads and we know that many of you are tired and that is why we invited you to homecoming. Not to give you assignments but that you would know that you are not alone. It's not about sitting at the crossroads or intersection and just sitting down and dying as if you have run the 2-4K. And it is not about turning left or right. It is about holding, holding your truth and your light and just keep going. So we do not give you elaborate instructions and besides which each one of you are very good at hearing us when we are asking you to do this or that. Our purpose was more in sharing with you how far we have come together. We have started this adventure together and we are so close, we are so close. How do you communicate with us? By thought, by what you would feel like an impulse. There are many times when you are feeling an electrical impulse and you think I'm too electrical today and I must ground a little further but in fact that is us talking to you. That is the way in which we tend to communicate as an electrical impulse. So that will get translated into thought or ideas even sometimes you call it divine inspiration, we don't, but yes, that is how we communicate. Why is it that so many people are having health issues? Because your bodies are changing. Because you have taken in much of the toxic energy, not of the planet but of, you know, a lot gets blamed on the planet that has nothing to do with her. It's very interesting. But the toxic energies are mostly from human belief systems and so many of you have turned yourselves into human cleaning factories. Now, that's a very noble idea but it isn't always a good one. So that's over, right? It's over when you say it's over. It's over then now, anybody want to agree with me on this? Yes. It's over. It's done. Then it is. 
You do not need to travel forward in ill health and you have done so often to try and clear or try and help. But as Gabrielle has been talking to you, and has Yahweh also, for the golds are very busy, and I am gold. I am gold and blue. You do not need to process. This time of differentiation, you are hearing this everywhere. It is not about clearing. This is the crossroads that we are talking about. It is the point at which you are saying I am leaving that behind. It is not clearing it, it is leaving it behind and going forward on the next phase of your journey. You have had many trailblazers and settlers in this wonderful area, in this city of light. And often they would have to take their wagons and the things that they thought were so precious and say I will have to leave this behind in the middle of this wasteland desert. And they would do so in order to continue on. That is what the process of differentiation is about. You are leaving it behind. And you are choosing a new path. And even if you think it's the same path you've been on, it's new. I ask you in this wondrous city of light for you to make the prayer to transverse this sacred place three times in unity and anchor. Farewell. Channeled by Linda Dillon